morning is completely ruined. I mean, did an amazing thing and made me another cup of coffee this morning and I went to go sip on it and it was full of chunks. Like it had fraud on its own. And I'm like, and it tasted very bitter and sour. And I'm like, what in the world? So I spit it out, dumped it out. I went to go check the Keurig and it looked fine. So I made another cup of coffee, added an older bottle. I mean, it was at the end of a bottle creamer. And it smelled weird and I took a tiny sip and I'm like, nope, 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 there's something wrong with the creamer. I thought it, the creamer was molded or getting chunky. So I threw the creamer out and I have a new bottle of creamer. Made a third cup of coffee and without putting the creamer in, I tasted the coffee and about puked. It was so gross. I was leaning over the garbage can gagging because I thought I was gonna upchuck. It was that bad. Um, so either a, yesterday I cleaned out my Keurig with a solution, a, it's a specific Keurig solution that they give you in a kit with new filters. Um, either it's the solution that didn't finish cleaning out, or B, the solution broke apart all the disgusting particles in my Keurig and now it's all coming out because when I ran water through it, it was 100% clear water by the time I was done cleaning it out. So I don't understand, so my, either it's a bad box of coffee or my Keurig is done for and spitting out bad, disgusting, gross particles left in. If you don't clean out your Keurig, you guys, it gets disgustingly bad and you're drinking dirty water pretty much. Anyway, um, I'm done and over with that. Ronnie's so sweet, he went to go get some Deo. I am making scrambled eggs with potatoes and cheese and I'm gonna add some of this to mine. Obviously mushrooms, obviously. So <clears throat> I'm getting breakfast and Ronnie's getting me some Deo because I have to have my coffee and I am not drinking that crap. I don't know what happened there. Uh, good morning, YouTube. Ugh. And just like that, I'm in the car on my way to Bear Valley, California. I was in the middle of making my eggs and went to go sit down and I'm like, is today Saturday the 20th? And bam, it clicked in. I have a freaking wedding to go to! So I'm doing a photo shoot for a wedding today. Uh, it's not with Jen today. Today's with our, my friends with Michelle and Kevin and I'm assisting them in their wedding. So um, just an FYI, I don't like doing weddings on my own. I don't like being in charge. I don't like to be the photographer in charge. So I take on assistance, which is just as great because I still get paid. So. Uh, yeah, that's what's happening. And then if you guys were wondering, uh, I ended up getting some sort of stress sore, not cold sore, because I don't, I don't really know, I don't think I'm sick. <laughs> I've been feeling wonderful, but it showed up and I've been using lysine, so it's already been, well, here, let's go this way. So it's already been scabbing over the last four days. Hey, well, I know, that's a little bit TMI. Got my eggs, got my Deo, got my camera, got makeup I need to put on, hair. I am jotting down for it. I'm driving down for an hour and a half, so I better hurry. I'm so glad I remembered this before it was too late, and I'm like, oh my god, I am so glad I remember. Thank you, God, I remembered. It popped in my brain right at the right time, so I took five minutes to get ready. So, so much for doing Christmas, Christmas with Ronnie today, but I've got to make my money, too. Bear Valley Ski Resort is absolutely gorgeous with colors. But I need some pictures done in here. Eek! A lot more oranges and reds in here. This is much prettier than it was in Sonora Pass. It's prettier in here. Good morning, hopefuls. It is just me and Caden for a while. Kaden got a little, what'd you get? Birthday card. Oh, with $20 in it. And he wants to go to Walmart so he can spend it because it is burning a hole in his pocket and his mouth. So we're going to go there, but anytime I tie down anything in my truck, 
this goes inside here and guess what it's gone so I bought a bolt and I got to try to get it up in there so I'm gonna try to go up underneath and see if I can do that and then of course I definitely need to try to put some winter wiper blades on because mine are sticking and it won't clean at all so let's do this these things are hammered Wow oh yeah look at look at this guy All right, well that worked well. Let's try the second one. This is angled. I had to get like some super extensions. And I had to when I had to buy the special bolt, see I drive a Chevy that's American made, but it has M10 or M8 bolts in it. I didn't have any, so I had to go to the hardware store to get them. Now, Caden, I may have to have you hold this in here like this. While I try to do all, bring all that up, okay? Holy cow. Okay, so I switch cards to Kevin's car because I get he gives me all his memory cards to put in my camera and then he just takes the cards so he can edit the pictures. Well, I put the card in my camera and then suddenly my camera stopped working. It literally broke in the middle of a freaking couple shoot uh, with the bride and groom. So I'm so thankful that he has two cameras. So now I'm taking his camera because my camera broke. Every time I formatted and re-answered the card, I reset the battery. I like took the battery out, let it sit for a minute, put it back in. And it's still saying card error. I cannot. I tried four different cards. I tried my own card. Wait, which way am I going? Uh-oh. 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 turning on that road off that road I think I'm going the right way please don't get lost <sighs> and there's like no signal out here so I can't use my GPS so I had to re like remember which road to take um, Bear Valley is a big place you guys it's a mess today not only did I wake up late get here late which is it turned out to be okay because the bride was late anyway and so were the flower people so we're um, other people because there was road construction she was late so that turned out okay that turned out okay but then my camera broke and oh my gosh you guys it's just one of those days where I'm like freaking out inside I'm like trying to keep calm like all right let's take care of the situation let's do this and this and this and trying to keep a professional atmosphere while inside I'm like screaming ah! what is going on ah! you have no idea how freaked out I am right now my camera is not working I just took Kevin's camera with me I put my lens on it uh, uh, ah! you guys it's a mess today it is a mess I just hope and pray that the rest of the day is okay we got the most important pictures out of the way that hole is so small I can't get a socket up there I can't get anything up there. How am I supposed to fix this? Okay, so after all that work, there's this little tiny hole in there. That's how you have to get this thing in. And I, I was able to do it. So now I got another tie down that I can use. My hair is, what a mess. My, uh, now I got another tie down when I need to take garbage or whatever. But Caden is ready to punch me in the mouth because he wants to go to Walmart and spend his $20. So we're going to have to get there. Eight hours later and I am done with the wedding. Woo! Weddings are exhausting, really. You know, next time you see a photographer at a wedding and you're at a wedding, thank them. Photography for weddings are extremely hard and uh, they're very tedious and stressful and 
it's like your job to make sure you capture their memories. So next time you see a photographer, give them a big, huge appreciation and say thank you to them. Uh, they don't get that enough. So make sure you say thank you to a photographer near you. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna relax and maybe, maybe, depending on how I feel, play some Twitch, we'll see. I'm kind of tired, but I probably need to binge a little bit, but I also have some photography I need to do as well. So I need to edit some pictures that I had taken last weekend that I need to finish. So I'm excited about this whole new videography thing. Not a lot of you guys know, but I am kind of excited, kind of. I'm actually super excited about getting a videography job started here where I live. Not a lot of people are videographers around here, so waving to Kevin. Gorgeous place out here, you guys. Gorgeous. It's like Bear Valley. Look it up on the maps. Google it. I mean, gorgeous. It's a ski resort. It's a, a lodge. It's in the forest. It's called Bear Valley for a reason. There's bears here, wild animals here, and great place to be. It's about an hour and a half away from my house, so it's an hour and but tons of snow here during the winters. I gotta turn you guys off because I even need a GPS to get back home. Okay, you guys. So I was looking through my CF card reader and you guys can't really see it. I need to shine a flashlight in there. But it looks like one of the pegs are um, bent. So it can't read any memory card. I don't, you can't, can't really see in there. I need to shine a light in there. Anyway, one of the cards are uh, bent. <laughs> speak one of the pegs in my card reader are bent so I cannot take any pictures with my camera until I get the inside fixed and I'm worried about trying to do it myself because I probably will break it so I need to send it into the Canon company good thing I have a backup Canon camera and this has got to go be turned in so yeah I'm gonna take uh, go back to my other camera for now until this is fixed and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, thumbs up. Uh, I want to say hello to hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. You are now part of the Hopeful family here on YouTube. And Caden, what do you say? Don't forget to finish it. And we'll see you guys all for another vlog. We love you guys so very much. Bye.